Vax version of Words from the Wild. Or, in this case, Words from my basement apartment. Because it's snowing, and I didn't want to take my laptop outside. Snowing! In April! <sighs> Today, to make ourselves feel better, we're going to be talking about the giant panda. Pandas, as you probably know, eat bamboo. But did you know they spend 12 hours a day eating it? 12 hours! And how much bamboo? 28 pounds, or 12 and a half kilograms, every day. That's like you eating 14 whole pineapples, or 40 hamburgers, or 700 cookies. But pandas have to eat that much bamboo because there's not a lot of nutrients in it. It's a very tough plant. But it's also reliable, and that's why they've evolved to eat it in the first place. Now today I want to address a myth. Are pandas really cute and cuddly? The answer is not really. A panda is a kind of bear after all, and a wild animal. But let's look more into it. The panda lives in the mountains of China. They are very elusive, that means hard to find, so biologists have a difficult time studying them in the wild. And that's important, because the panda in the wild behaves very differently from the panda we think we know from zoos. Until very recently, the giant panda was highly endangered. But thanks to conservation breeding programs, and yes, research zoos, the giant panda has come back from the brink. But here's what's different about wild pandas. They're excellent tree climbers, they're much more energetic, and they're very fast swimmers. And here's one last thing to think about. Bamboo is a tough plant, right? The panda's bite is strong enough to crack through the stem. The panda actually has one of the highest bite forces of all bears. So, show your adorable black and white friend a little more respect from now on. I know I will. That's all for today. Stay wild, everybody.